Good evening and welcome back to Bread and Butter Primary Care. I'm Dr. Stokes and tonight we're going to be talking about physical exam findings with hypertension. So this is uh, entitled Hypertension uh, Significant Physical Exam Findings. When you're doing physical exam, especially during chronic disease management, um, there are certain things that are interesting um, to know that go along. There's certain physical exam things that are helpful with the diagnosis of something, might clue you into that is going on. And then there are, there's exam that change the way you manage whatever it is you're evaluating. In a lot of chronic disease management, I'm gonna be straightforward as far as actual real life um, medical care, bread and butter primary care, physical exam. Um, there's not a lot of instances where you change your management based on physical exam findings. Um, hypertension is a good example of that. There are a few things that we'll talk about. Um, so we're going to talk a little bit about physical exam findings that come along with blood pressure. And then if there's of those, which ones actually influence the way you decide to treat it. Um, so physical exam findings that you might find with blood pressure, mostly, um, really the most significant thing is, is edema, you know, uh, swelling in the legs or the extremities. As the blood pressure goes up, you know, you have an increased uh, pressure in the vasculature, which can push fluid out into the tissues and you can get edema. Um, so that's probably one of the more significant physical fi exam findings for blood pressure. Um, obviously, on like a retinal exam, you know, if you're really good at retinal exams, you know, where you have dilated pupils and you can really take a look, then you can see changes that are associated with chronic hypertension. And you may find something on cardiovascular exam, um, long-standing hypertension can cause left ventricular hypertrophy, which uh, can also lead to valve um, hypertrophy and those things. So you could hear a murmur, um, and that might be due to long-standing hypertension. But those types of things are good examples of, of the difficulty in using the exam findings to help you, because there's nothing that's just real particular to hypertension, like, oh, You've got this, therefore I know you have hypertension. Lots of things can cause edema, lots of things can cause heart murmurs, lots of things can cause changes in the vision. Um, and so you can't really hang your hat on a physical exam finding. And so really I've been thinking about it getting ready for this video and um, I'd love to hear in the comments or anything if there's something else that, that someone comes up with that they found to be important. As far as physical exam findings that change the way I treat hypertension. The only thing I can think of really is um, edema. And so if I have a patient who is hypertensive and I'm considering what medication to start, and there's another video that specifically talks about the top three hypertensive medications, amlodipine or calcium channel blocker, ACE inhibitors, and thiazide diuretics. If I'm choosing between those three and I have no reason to pick one over the other, and I note that they have a lot of edema, and edema is something they complain about frequently, then I may um, choose a thiazide diuretic before I choose the others, given if there's not any diabetes or kidney concerns um, that would push me more towards an ACE inhibitor. And so that's something that I could see might adjust your treatment regimen. Um, any blood pressure lowering strategy is likely to help with the edema because the high blood pressure might be what's causing it. But the thiazide diuretics obviously directly help um, by having a, a diuretic effect. And so, um, there's that. And so that's pretty much it for this video. Um, so I'm trying to kind of keep the same format for all of the different units. And so I want to have like a history for all the different things we're talking about. So I want to do history for hypertension, exam for hypertension, just like I'll do history and exam for diabetes and that type of thing. And so really the takeaway as far as hypertension really is, as far as exam is, is concerned, um, is that your management of hypertension is mostly based off of the blood pressure numbers, the findings on laboratory as far as renal function, uh, comorbidities such as diabetes, and not so much on physical exam. So there's not a lot of physical exam that actually changes the way you treat blood pressure. Um, the one I could think of was that of the uh, peripheral edema, which might push you towards diuretic sooner or late, rather than later. Um, otherwise, that is uh, about it. So I hope that's helpful and have a great night. This is Dr. Stokes for Bread and Butter Primary Care.